Have you heard about Agenda 47? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman and welcome back to Illustrate to Educate. In this video, we'll look at a brief overview and seven specific areas of Agenda 47. First, what is Agenda 47? Agenda 47 outlines Donald Trump's policy plans for his 2024 presidential campaign, presented through a series of videos on his campaign's website. These proposals aim to appeal to Republican primary voters. The plans include expanding presidential power, mass deportations, the death penalty for drug dealers, and using the National Guard in high-crime liberal cities. Additional proposals involve constructing freedom cities, investing in flying cars, offering baby bonuses, and implementing protectionist trade policies, with several requiring congressional approval or constitutional amendments. In Agenda 47, Trump promises to make the U.S. energy independent again by developing domestic oil, natural gas, and other affordable energy sources, including nuclear and clean coal. He plans to cancel Biden's energy regulations, modernize the electric grid, and ensure America has the lowest energy costs among industrial nations. Trump's goal is to attract manufacturing back to the U.S. by providing cheap and reliable energy, boosting the economy, and creating jobs. Donald Trump's Agenda 47 criticizes the previous administration for excessive spending, causing inflation and economic hardship. Trump proposes reining in this spending by reinstating the president's historical impoundment power, which allows the president to refuse unnecessary funds provided by Congress. He argues this will cut federal waste, reduce taxes, stop inflation, and slash the deficit. Trump promises not to cut national defense, Medicare, or Social Security, instead use savings from other areas to strengthen these programs. He also aims to challenge the Impoundment Control Act of 1974 in court, asserting this policy will eliminate the deep state, warmongers, and globalists, promoting growth and freedom. Donald Trump aims to restore America's boldness and significantly improve the standard of living. He proposes using a small portion of federally owned land to build freedom cities, promoting home ownership and the American dream. Trump envisions leading the air mobility revolution with vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, boosting commerce and connecting rural areas. His strategic national manufacturing initiative will revive forgotten communities by reducing reliance on imports. He plans to lower living costs, particularly for new cars and homes, and introduce baby bonuses to encourage a new baby boom. Donald Trump's Agenda 47 criticizes the previous administration for the current state of the U.S. military, citing ammunition shortages and low recruitment rates. Trump claims Biden's actions, such as sending cluster bombs to Ukraine and calling up reserve forces, indicate severe resource depletion and compromise national security. He argues that under his administration, the military was strong and deterrent, ensuring peace through strength, whereas now the U.S. is weakened and humiliated. Trump plans to restore military strength, end the conflict in Eastern Europe, and demand European reimbursement for U.S. aid to Ukraine. Donald Trump criticizes left-wing gender policies as child abuse and outlines a plan to end what he calls the mutilation of youth. On his first day in office, he plans to revoke Biden's policies on gender-affirming care, which include puberty blockers and surgery for minors. Additionally, the Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and hospital networks for covering up side effects and illegal marketing of hormones and blockers. The Department of Education will penalize schools promoting gender transitions and promote education on traditional family roles. He will also seek legislation to recognize only male and female genders assigned at birth and protect parental rights in matters of gender identity. Donald Trump's Agenda 47 outlines a plan to combat the influx of lethal drugs like fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamine across the U.S. border, which he claims are causing unprecedented destruction to American lives and communities. Trump pledges to wage an all-out war on these cartels, employing military assets, special forces, cyber warfare, and designating them as foreign terrorist organizations to cut off their financial networks. He also plans to restore strong border security, enforce a naval embargo on drug shipments, and seek death penalties for drug smugglers and human traffickers. 
Lastly, in Agenda 47, Donald Trump criticizes the previous administration for allegedly allowing a large influx of illegal immigrants and providing them with more government benefits, including food stamps, health care, welfare, and work permits, than law-abiding citizens, including veterans. Trump promises to stop this practice by eliminating work permits for illegal immigrants, making them ineligible for public housing, and blocking any future president from distributing welfare benefits to illegal immigrants. He emphasizes that these policies attract immigrants and are unfair to the American taxpayer. He plans to sign an executive order on day one of his new term, clarifying that children of illegal aliens will not receive automatic citizenship. This policy aims to deter illegal immigration and birth tourism and restore U.S. sovereignty by ensuring that at least one parent is a citizen or legal resident for a child to qualify for citizenship. Did you find this video about Agenda 47 to be helpful? If so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.